Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you guys your uh, general weekly twin flame energy reading here. If you are interested in your own twin flame reading, all that information is down below in the description box. I believe it's $60. Uh, but yeah, just check it on out. I would just need the first name of your twin. I don't go by last names. I don't go by signs or anything. I just pick up the energy. But we do ask uh, permission from your twin's uh, spirit guide, basically, if I'm allowed to read for them, okay? But yeah, and I need that first name, basically, to affiliate that. So that's why just that information. The less information, the better. That way, because I'm a Libra, I just like to explain uh, my logical mind will step in. My thinking cap, as my mom would say, would work or activate here. Uh, and I just want to go by my intuition. So I try to block out the information about a situation. I go by my instincts, my uh, intuition here. So let's get started. Hope you guys are doing well. We're going to start off first, of course, with the Empress Energy. Again, I'm using the good old two decks of Marchetti, the smaller one and the bigger one. I use the smaller one first because it's easier to... Uh, C, okay, to put on top because the other ones are much bigger. Okay. <laughs> what does the Empress need to know? Okay. Wow, lots of messages here for the Empress. Make sure that you converse with your spirit guide, with universe. If you if praying is your is your thing. When I was a kid, definitely do it. Uh, when I was a kid, I remember, <laughs> so, I, don't, I don't think it's disrespectful. I was just, I love candles. I mean, I have the perfect job because I'm always lighting white candles, you know. But there was, at church, there was always this, I was raised Catholic. But yeah, at church, I used to love waiting to the end of Mass and I would always ask my mom for a quarter. Back then, it was the 70s, you know, early 80s, very early uh, and, you know, normal people, you know, adults, okay, would, would do a dollar or two or whatever to light a candle. But I just wanted a quarter. <laughs> but I remember I was so excited. Ah, oh, the little things in life thrill me. But definitely pray, okay? Definitely. Do not give up. Talk to them, okay, for sure. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be this work being put into this relationship, but I feel for your energy. Just keep applying yourself. Stay strong here. There is this doubt of whether or not this person loves you, you know, in your mind here, if they're ever going to be returning here. They will, okay? And I feel like they're going to come out of the blue, so prepare yourself. But there, there are times where, there are times where you don't feel like this is ever going to pan out. Yes, they will. I feel like there's a little bit of regret. Now, keep in mind that, um, you know, twins can come in and out of your spread and vice versa, okay? But they're frustrated with their own selves that they that they hurt you. I literally heard that as well. Not, you know, on a physical level, mentally. But I feel that they're mad at themselves. They're frustrated with themselves that they cut off that communication. There's a weird message. I feel like there's a, their parent, okay, I'm just going to say it because I feel it, but I feel like your twin, whoever this is meant for, not meant for everybody, but definitely meant for one because I feel it. They don't want you to think that they are better than you. That's not their character. That's not their way. Okay. And I, I feel like this person really worries and cares of what other people think. I, I used to, I, I still do, but I, I don't, I'm not as, um, uh, I don't get myself <clears throat> upset as much. Sorry for the cough. I have allergies like crazy. But anyway. Yeah, it bugs them that they made a boo-boo. It bugs them that they made a mistake. And I feel that you feel their energy, going back to you, I feel like you feel their energy more so at night. <coughs> Somebody out there literally says, okay, it's 9 o'clock. This is when they fill in the blank. They watch, you know, certain TV show, you know, you're reflecting on the past of what they, they kind of had a, just thought I saw something weird. Um, they, that was really weird. I know I saw that. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, kind of like their schedule, uh, you know, like what they do on a daily basis, you're used to it. 
Like I knew this uh, one guy, just an ex as an example, he loved mash. Mm. Uh, but yeah, and uh, I knew when he was watching it because he would always, he would tell me, you know, I watch mash at blah, blah, blah time. So that time, do you know what I mean? So when that time showed up, I knew that he was watching mash. You know, there's like weird things that, uh, you're going to kind of reflect, okay, about, I wonder how they're doing. I wonder what they're doing. I wonder if they're doing their traditional thing at this time on this day, you know. Like every Tuesday night we go live. So if I had a twin, you know, which, what, you know, what have you. Uh, but yeah, I'm sure my twin would be saying, Deb's live right now because she told me. You know what I mean? So anyway, so moving on here. This love will be coming in, okay? It's very, very spiritually guided. I know it's taken some time. And I do feel that there's some sadness from you, and rightfully so. You just want to speak to them. But you're throwing that out there, which is good. Because the first few cards here are communicating. Letting spirit know. Letting the universe know what exactly you want. And through that prayer, through that, you could light a white candle. Just with that example of that lovely story time. But I feel like just keep it active with uh, ch trying to remain balanced. You know, I, I I actually have to admit something here for my own self. Um, I, I, was, I was very, very much, I'm st I still get up in my head. Who's kidding whom? Uh, but yeah, so, you know, I wouldn't call myself a hot mess, but I was more overthinking things. I wasn't as calm. I've chilled and I really... <laughs> I don't usually say weird words like that, but I have, and I've noticed that throughout the years. I think I've had my channel since uh, 2017, November 4th. I just looked up that date uh, yesterday. I couldn't remember the year, though. I think it was 2017. Shout out to my uh, my regulars and my, uh, my, my longtime subscribers, if you're one of the first. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, and... Uh, I, I've noticed that I that I've kind of chilled throughout the years. Now maybe it's older age or what have you, but I really feel that sage and just kind of calming and meditation and um turning to source and my belief in my spiritual growth here. Um, you know, writing books, you know, uh not this is not a promo, but writing that uh, accepting the gift book, that really opened up my spirituality as well. There was an expansion, you know, in regards to my spiritualness. And I feel that that, that calmed me, you know. Uh, so big time with that message. Definitely talk to spirit, talk to universe, throw those intentions out. You know, my, fa my father, my husband always used to say, Deb, I'm not a mind reader. You have to tell me things, you know. I don't know what's going on in that head of yours. Now, he too was a Libra. Okay, so I'd be like, touche, <laughs> back. But yeah, I was more stubborn with my words. But uh, that was when I was more <laughs> in my head, you know. Uh, but yeah, so I, another pr uh, point proven here is that you have to open up. You have to tell spirit. You have to tell universe what you want. You know, having that confidence, but it'll also ground your energy is what I'm really feeling here. Because this is this new beginning is all going to take place, okay, no matter how long of a wait this is with that Knight of Cups before that Fool, but it's kind of like this doubt, you know, but the Fool is a new beginning here because it's all guided. Spirit's kind of like, don't even worry about it. This new beginning, we're working on it here, you know. Let's take the male energy known as the Emperor energy. Can be female as well. We're not gender specific here. Sorry, I messed up there. But yeah, alrighty. Let's see. The Emperor Energy. What do we need to know? Now, just let you know. Uh, they can slip into, and you can slip into yours or theirs. We oh, got the matching card, King of Cups. I believe that was, what did I do? Did I just do that? Really did? Hang on. I put it with the rest of them. Deb, keep it separate. <laughs> Yelling at myself. They think about you. They think they, they think about communicating. They do. They know. They know deep, deep down that you want them to communicate. <laughs> I feel like you are slipping in. I giggles because I literally heard somebody kind of very aggressively. Like I feel like a, a pounding of the fist almost. It's like 
communicate. Like somebody's screaming uh, at night or what have you, talking to their twin telepathically or just saying the words, communicate back to me here. Uh, but yeah, you don't want to miss them anymore. You want this completion. You want to work out. You're slipping in. That's okay. You want to work out here this uh, situation at hand. You want fulfillment of love. It, you have a very good uh, theor theory here with your energy. You know, I know there's other factors, but one of my parents' favorite expression is, uh, you know, the key to any relationship is through communication. I know I always say that, but that really is. And you have these uh, morals and these values of anything can work out. We just need to talk, you know, to get this fulfillment. And they know that they have hesitated, but you really are their wish fulfillment. And I do feel that your wish, <laughs> uh, you know, not so much, well, I mean, anybody, but the, the they're making me laugh because I keep hearing, communicate <laughs> with the fist. Somebody's doing that. You're hysterically funny, whoever that is. But yeah, this wish is coming in. There's going to be happiness here with the Two of Cups and underneath this, the Ace of Cups. So whoever is thinking that, you know, you know, I'm no longer their wish fulfillment, you know, kind of thing. Uh, it's not true. You know, you are their wish. Your wish is coming true with the page of wands here. And then underneath is the nine of cups. And there's a new start with that ace of cups. Now you do have two aces here. That's divine energy as well as twin flame. That just proves it. And I will be taking those two cards. Death card. Ace of wands. Number three. Uh, in regards to somebody from the past here for sure. Clarify that. The slowness, the tough times here, the working everything out here, the explanation, okay, the receiving of love. They want to give you all that, okay? That's beautiful. You know, some can return and, you know, in a different situation, some can return and just give you kind of half beep answers. You know what I mean? I don't like to curse on here. But yeah, but you, you get my drift. But yeah, they're going to give it all to you. They're going to be very gentle. This is a loving, loving person. I do feel big time. I, not to specify, um, you know, uh, element here, but I am feeling very loving, more of a water sign energy, especially even more so with that King of Cups. So I'm just going to shout that out for somebody's, but I do feel water here. And I feel that your energy is very good with communication, whatever sign that may be for you, okay? Could be air sign with that Queen of Swords. But like I said, I don't really go by the signs. I just go by the energy of it all. So in regards to their energy, I really feel that they think about you here for sure. You know, they know. I feel like they talk to you in their mind telepathically as well. I feel like they have a hard time opening up. Uh, with expressing how much love that they do have. A little bit of fear I'm feeling by them, okay? And I do feel that you do communicate telepathically to them, and they do hear you. I do feel that. You guys are on such a great level with an open mind of accepting messages. You know, one is stronger. I feel the Empress is stronger in belief with this than the male, you know, but they are learning, they are expanding, they are experiencing, I should say, <coughs> especially with them being able to pick up on your energy and hear them. So with that death card, ace of wands, the six of cups, the world, I clarified the world. It's like, hello. Well, things ended, but things are coming back with the five of pentacles, the, uh, the wheel of fortune and the four of cups here, clearing everything up. We're really working on it. Okay. But yeah. All right. Let's pull these out. I need a drink first. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that, allergies. And we play poker again with tarot. Let's see what kind of dupe cards we have. All right, you guys, that's funny. You guys basically, well, the Empress has a little bit more. All right, so first things first, I want to collect all the aces. I'm going to put the aces on the side. I promise I won't forget. When I put things to the side, I don't have, you know, that vision there, you know, even though I do. Uh, but anyway, you got the uh, the judgment here, the fool. <clears throat> I do feel like I need to take the fives, thank you. I just asked and they said yes. Um, the ten of cups. Wheel of fortune. We both have been through quite a bit, an ordeal. 
uh, the Nine of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the King of Swords. That's a power couple. That's good. That's good. Communication. Your wishes. Okay. Sometimes they give me messages as I um, put the cards down. Okay. So, yeah, you got the King and Queen of Swords here. So, definitely what you're wanting is to fix everything. They agree. And I feel that that's why their energy here... Uh, with their outcome saying that is that you can you can work through anything through just talking it out. You really can. Of course, you need love, okay? Especially with you two of you looking at that ten of cups on my mat here. But yeah, the world. Oh, we both have the world. Okay, that's a, okay. They're already giving me messages here. King of Cups. I feel like they tried once before. I'm gonna try to zip my mouth until the end. <laughs> I can't help it when they speak. I. Sp I speak too. Uh, three of Pentacles. Queen of Swords again. Okay, I got it. I'm not going to give you that message until the end. And the higher font. Okay, so let's put these away. Let's collect the rest. Not too, too many. Everybody's different. And this is a general, you know. Now, on average, I just want you to know that, you know, uh, this is a general. So, you know, um... I basically clarify if guided to, which is generally the case, for a private reading, okay? Generally, a twin flame reading here is about 30 to 40 minutes, if not more, okay? Uh, but yeah, it all depends on how many messages I get, how many lovely story times you get during your private reading, of course. Uh, but yeah, so it's all different times. But usually, the generals are much more shorter in time. I just want to explain that. Because it is pricey, and I know that, and I try to be fair with my prices. All right, so let's figure out what we're doing here. So you had a little bit of a moment, I feel, with two queens of swords. You had, But you also use that queen of swords. She's known as the cutout energy. Now, she is air sign, so could be an air sign here. But regardless, I feel that uh, you kind of cut things out in the past, the mental anguish of it all. You kind of had a restart. I picked that up last week too, I believe, with the with the Queen of Pentacles or the King of Pe no the Queen of Pentacles, I believe. Uh, but yeah, but I just feel like you have a new start here. You see the little sun, okay? So you definitely worked on your energy, this glowing light above that sword, the tip of that sword, actually. So you reach that breaking point of kind of calming your energy down. And I feel even though you've had a battle here, okay, you kind of cut them out. You know, it was tough session here for you here. Uh, but yeah, hang on. Sorry. Okay. You got to hide the cards here <laughs> or hide my nose. I don't like doing that, but man, allergies are tough. Uh, but definitely good communication coming in. And that's the goal. That's the goal here because there's a lot to straighten out with two Wheel of Fortunes. Okay. You both lived through a lot here. And I feel like there's a big, I hate saying explanation, but just a good conversation and working things out. Okay. They never forgot about you. I feel like somebody gets kind of discouraged at times, empress-wise, in saying they're never going to open up. You know, they have two personalities kind of thing. You know, they're, they're, they're sweet, they're loving, but then they can be mean because they ghosted me, you know, or what have you. You know, it's just because they have a hard time opening up, I'm feeling. Let's take all the aces. This is interesting. <gasps> Holy moly! Uh, Deb gets excited. So you got all four aces, and yes... That's fun and all, but they're all different. You got the complete set. It's like the Laura Ingalls of Little House on the Prairie complete set of books. I had that till my husband sold it like 20 years later at a yard sale without me knowing. Anyway, moving on. So definitely there's this complete package. This is nice to have that complete set. It's like having a, a complete set of baseball cards, you know, of a certain team or what have you. Yeah, you want to end things in regards to the mental anguish of it all, the wheel of fortune, okay? You're on the same page, basically. You're twinning. You're mirroring each other here. And there's a big change of not just uh, this relationship with one five. That's interesting. I don't always get just one five. Uh, but yeah, five of cups is known for a change. Fives are changes in regards to relationship. Forgiveness, too. Forgiving each other, you know, as well. You know, it might not be your fault his fault, what have you, doesn't matter, you know, it's just overall energy through communication of understanding and forgiveness here from the past to look towards the future, 
Very nice message. Thank you, Spirit. Uh, but that is what I have for whomever this is meant for. Thank you all for watching. I truly do appreciate it. As always, don't forget to subscribe as well. Smashing that like button, it helps out with my channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.